morning guys it is currently 9 30 and i have actually been up since 7 30 like deep cleaning my whole house i usually just wake up super early naturally i think it's a pregnancy i mean i've always been a morning person but i usually like to wake up and get going and it's just gone worse with pregnancy so i have been up for quite some time i haven't really gotten ready or anything but jake and i have a couple errands to run we need to go to target i need to exchange something and then he has a couple stores that he wants to hit. Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby is that way. Going to Hobby Lobby. I really want to get a Christmas wreath for our door. So that is where we're headed before Target. <laughs> What'd you say? What? what what'd you say? You, you said wreath. Yeah. A wreath with TH. It's wreath. Wreath? Yeah. Was it F? Yeah. That's like the ocean. Oh my god. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> that's like the ocean wreath. Oh, ring. that's funny. Wreath is W R E A. -T -H. Yeah, how do you spell it? I have no idea how you spell it. Wreath. So we just got out of Hobby Lobby and I decided against a wreath and instead they had this really cute giant like red metal bow and our front door is black so I think it'll be really cute on it and just kind of like a little bit more simple. Um, but Jake is starving so he's kind <laughs> of... <laughs> He's kind of grumpy, so we're actually gonna go get him food. Even though we ate breakfast, but you know. I kinda want a burger and it's like 10.30. It's literally 10.30, <laughs> like he, he literally wants to like go to Five Guys or In-N-Out, but they're all closed, <laughs> it's the morning. Sounds so good. So I don't know where we're headed now, but we're gonna go get him food so he can cheer up and then we will. Cheer up, I'm, I'm cheered up. Are you? Yes. Are you? He's a little, he's a little hangry. Oh crap. Oh, you gotta go. Oh, you can't. But. <laughs> <laughs> we almost got an accident. You know. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go try to find a burger. But we're going to a store that's like Bye 20 guy. minutes. <laughs> 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 we're going to a store that's like 20 minutes away. So hopefully by the time we get there, lunch will start being served, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that is our plan now. <laughs> okay, change of plans. We actually went to Target before we got him food. So yeah, I had some pajamas I needed to exchange. And then I also got like a mat for our front door. And now we're in the Wendy's parking lot. So you can get food and I can get a drink. But it's so funny. I wish I could bring my camera in to these stores because I every store we went to, someone asked me when I was due, what I'm having, just because I look so pregnant. They're like, you're about to pop. I'm like, I know, I'm feeling it. It's like two and a half-ish weeks out. So we're getting there, aren't we? Oh yeah. So we are back now from all the stores and errands we had to run, but now I'm hungry. And I probably should have just gotten Wendy's, but I didn't. So I am going to make lunch really quick and then I'm gonna put up all the stuff I got for our door. And yeah. I just finished making lunch and I can show you it. It's nothing cute at all by any means i just made a veggie burger with sweet potato fries and it's literally that is it and it's actually like one of my favorite lunches it's super easy and quick to make it just isn't very cute to look at so i'm gonna eat this really quick i just finished lunch and i still have not gotten ready for the day and i probably won't i'll probably just hang out like this the rest of the day because we're not going anywhere else but I can show you my front door really quick. It's not really finished, but isn't that so cute? Um, so yeah, that's the bow all done. And then I did get that and that and then that. And then um, these flowers are actual real poinsettias and I'm an idiot because it's way too cold outside for them. So they, um, yeah, died the moment I put them out. So I need to get some like fake ones and then I do want to get some like taller green trees to put around. But I think the bow is so cute. Um, yeah, so it's not quite done, but that's what I got today. 
And then I thought really quick while I'm showing you guys kind of around, I thought I could kind of show you the nursery and show you what we did and kind of how we organized it because I I think this is like honestly the only room in our house that's decorated yet. We just moved in like a month, month and a half ago and we spent all of our time on this room alone. So now we'll start doing like other projects around our house and we can kind of show you those as we do them. But this is literally the only room in the house that's decorated. This is what it looks like when you first walk in. This stuff isn't here, but that's just all of our hospital bag stuff. It's finally packed and put away. Um, but this rug, we just got off of Amazon, and I like that it's just kind of tiny, this room. We have um, another bedroom, and this one is definitely like the smaller of the two. But I loved just like honestly this little corner wall over here, and I thought it just screamed that it was a nursery. So... I picked this one but I like that it's not too big it doesn't like overpower the room and then we also have this rocking chair little pillow and then these shelves with books on them because I kind of wanted to do like a reading nook um, and then I also just put a bin back here with a bunch of little blankets for him and those are all washed and ready to go so when I was little my mom read to me a lot and I definitely wanted like a little reading area for him where I can just sit and lounge read him a book or you know, like nurse, do all the mom things. So that's kind of why I set it up the way I did. And then when he gets more books, these are his only books um, that he has so far. I'll just probably add like another bin back there with more books. And then this chair was actually gifted to me from my mom. So I'm not quite sure where she got it, but I'll put the link below. And then this was just from like a home goods store. And then we actually custom built these shelves because I wanted them not to be like too thick and like a very specific wash. So we built those and they're actually super easy. And then those were actually all gifted from a uh, like baby shower. That is that area. And then we did do curtains and there's just like a little gold curtain rod up there. And I think the rod is from Target as well as the curtains. And now it's getting dark. And you can't really tell but there is like a little flower design. It's just like super simple. <laughs> um, and they are like blackout curtains. I know a lot of people have like mixed feelings on blackout curtains. I really wanted to do them because this room is south facing. So it constantly gets bright daylight like all day long. Even with just the blind shut. So I definitely wanted him to be able to at least sleep in the day. Um, with darkness. And I know a lot of people. Not a lot of people but some people don't want to do blackout curtains. Because they don't want their baby to get too used to being like in the dark all the time. But even with these they still let in a little bit of light. So I think it was definitely like a must in our home, especially just for his room and where his window faces. This whole nursery, I wanted to do like something very like, just like light colors, gender neutral in a way kind of. Um, I didn't want to do like blues and all these crazy colors. I like definitely like a more neutral palette. So that's kind of why I picked everything out that I did. And then we did end up doing this huge accent wall, which I am obsessed with i think it turned out so good it was just white before and jake and i actually took the time and did like all the wooding and the paint and all of that and it was super fun for both of us to do we just had so much fun doing it together and we got to spend a lot of time in the nursery and just hang out and i wish i would have filmed it but i didn't um but i think we're gonna do like another wall kind of similar but a little bit different in our living room and i'll definitely film that when we get there um, but then for this wall also, we put the dresser here just because it was bigger and it needed this space. Um, and then this dresser is just from Ikea. And then I switched out the little knobs with ones from on Amazon. And I, they were super cheap, but I liked the way that they turned out. And we did like a changing table up here. And I honestly did not want to do a changing table in a basket just because... I didn't want him to get like scratched or anything that's probably like a little crazy of me but I just wanted it to be as soft as can be and then we have like his whole little setup of stuff right there and then he does have a sound machine right there this one is the hatch a lot of people recommended it which is why we got it and I'm excited to give it a try I was also thinking of doing a mirror right there but I was so nervous that like when I was changing his diaper or something he would knock it down so I purposely did not put anything on the wall. Same thing with the crib wall. I just got so nervous that if it fell on him when he was sleeping, and again, that's probably crazy of me, but I just didn't 
feel comfortable doing it and I didn't want to like cover up the huge wall either so yeah I just kind of left it as it was but that was an idea I had and then with these dressers I can kind of show you how I organize them because I really like these like this specific Ikea dresser because it has like the little drawers and then the big drawers so I didn't feel like I needed to get like a bunch of bins to organize it it just kind of does it on its own so I did diapers in here we have like the little newborn diapers and they're so stinking small and cute and then we also have size one just because I know that they grow out of these newborn ones newborn ones really fast and then I just have more diapers in here and then like a back stock of wipes but I'll always just like leave a little wipe out there and then in this drawer I have all of his onesies so they they go from newborn to, I want to say, like 6 to 12 months. And then just extra of these little binkies that I showed you in my hospital bag. So I thought they were so cute. And then in here we have, like, some socks. I still need to wash these socks and these mains. These are the only things in his whole nursery that is not washed. And then a bunch of his beanies that I got him. And then just a couple bins. And in here we have all of his clothes. And these are not all of them. These are just the ones that will fit him or that I didn't want to hang. And so we have like this little cute, look how cute this is. It's so teeny tiny. It's like a little Christmas outfit. And it's just so tiny and cute. And then it has matching pants with it. So those are all of like his gowns or teeny tiny little outfits. And then we also have like all of his sleepers right here. And then these are all of his pants or like these little basic onesies I didn't want to hang. Um, but I also didn't want to hang his pants. So all of his pants right there. And then in here we have the halo swaddle. I have a couple of these. I think I have three in different sizes. He is a newborn in December. So I wanted to make sure to get the fleece one so he was warm when he slept. And a lot of people love these. And then I also have burp cloths, just like two different kinds. And then some washcloths as well. Down here, I just have back stock of everything, so like an extra sheet. This is an extra boppy cover, and this is an extra changing pad cover. And then in here, we just have some swaddles, and that is it. So that's just kind of how I organized everything for now while it works, and I really, really like this dresser just because it makes everything fit. So all this tiny stuff goes in the tiny drawers, bigger stuff in the bigger drawers, and I really like it. And then... The last thing is just his cute little crib. It kind of got dark outside, but I am obsessed with this crib. I wanted a lightwood crib, but I wanted like the legs a little bit thicker. Um, so I think this is the Hudson 3-in-1 Baby Leto crib or something like that. And then we just got his mattress like off Amazon. And I actually like made this when I was like 20 weeks pregnant, so it's not perfect. You can tell like... But I just, I wanted something handmade for him in here. And I think it looks really cute over the crib. With these pillows, they're both from Target. But I actually just had these and they just went with the room really well. So I threw them in here. And this cute little teddy bear is off Amazon. This crib sheet is from Target and I think it's so cute. And also just went really well with the room. And then we got him a little mobile, which I am obsessed with. This is actually just from Walmart and it was like $10. But it looks exactly like all the other wood ones out there. And every other one that was like wood was like $40 or $50. And I was going to get one until I found this. I was like looking at something else on Walmart's website or something. And this popped up and I was like, oh my gosh, it's perfect. So yeah, we just got this little mobile. And then I do have like a letterboard, a letterboard sign over there. But... On it, it says welcome home and then his name. So I don't know if this will be up before or after he's born. But just in case it's up before he's born, I don't want to show it because it has his name on it. And then, like I said, I didn't want to do any um, paint work right there, like frames or anything. Just because I was worried that they would fall on him when he slept. And we just cannot have that. I would have a meltdown. So I can also show you he does have a bunch of stuff in his closet. And it's not that organized. But it's just kind of back stock of everything. And so I can kind of show you that as well. I did have to move those. But this is his closet. So here are all of his hanging clothes that will fit him within at least the next six months. Just because I don't know how big he's going to be. So I didn't want to like put away all of like his six to twelve month old stuff. But like he has... 
the tiniest little sweatshirts and they are so cute and like just a bunch of onesies um and then like obviously like this is bigger so when he fits into that he can wear that and then he does have a little bear snowsuit which i'm so excited to see him in i don't depending on how big he is this might not fit him for a couple months but i think it's so cute and then up here, I just have, like, back stock of all of this. This was all gifted to me at, like, a baby shower. And then some medicine and just a bunch of, like, random stuff. This is a humidifier, and I definitely wanted one of these. I just was recommended one, so I definitely wanted one. And then, um, so that will probably pull out when he is born. And then we also got the Wise camera, um, like, baby monitor. So, we'll probably also put that up when he's born, just so I can monitor him when he's, like, taking naps. Because he'll definitely be sleeping in my room when he's born. And then, up here, we just have, like, teethers and, like, a bottle washer. And just a bunch of things that he won't use until he's a little bit older. So, I just kind of put them up there. And then, down here, we have, like, his little bath, which I'm not going to pull out till we need to use it. And, like, some toys that she won't use till he's older. And then, this is the high chair I got. Um... It was also gifted to me at my baby shower, but I specifically wanted this one because it just hooks onto your countertop. And I just didn't want a big, huge high chair taking up a ton of room. But I do also have a Bumbo, so I can also use that as well, just because they're both super easy to use. And then obviously just like back socks of diapers and wipes. This is like the postpartum stuff for me. I'm just leaving it in here for now. And then these are all of like a bunch of clothes that won't fit him until he's at least like 12 months unless he's just like a big baby but that's why they're in here just because he won't need them for a minute or they're like summer clothes that I got so he can't use them right now because it's winter and then these are just cute little blankets that were made for him by my sister-in-law's mother-in-law and they're so cute they're like have a little print on one side and then like a soft minky on the other and this one is like that in black so that is pretty much everything in his closet that pretty much wraps up the nursery it's pretty simple i didn't want to make it like too overbearing or have too many things in it especially because i am a first time mom so i don't know exactly what i need or if i needed like more things i wanted the space to be able to add it so yeah that is pretty much his whole nursery and we are so excited to have a little baby in just a couple weeks be in here it's so surreal that there's like a whole room for someone that isn't even born yet, but like that they'll just be here. So we are so excited. That will probably wrap up today's vlog. I am probably going to go take a nap. I'm not going to lie. I'm pretty tired. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe. I'll still be posting weekly. Um, and then just in the comments, if you have any video ideas or questions or wanted to know about anything we got in the nursery, I will link it below as well. But feel free to comment if you have any other questions, and we will see you next week.